What's going on, fellas? Today we're doing a very interesting test. A telescopic rod versus two-piece rod. Both of them are very portable, but which one should you invest your hard-earned money in? Stay tuned to find out. So I'm currently using the Cast King uh, Black Hawk 2 telescopic rod. Now this is a, a pretty high-end, really nice uh, telescopic rod. Actually, honestly, this is the best telescopic rod I've ever owned because of the quality of it. If you can take a look at the eyes right here, I mean, these are really nice eyes. The way that they built it is just high quality. And let me show you the difference between high quality and low quality, okay guys? This is a low quality telescopic rod that I purchased for about $10 on Amazon. It looked great in the pictures, but when I, when I observe it closely, I mean, this is made of plastic. This is all like really cheap, poorly made. You can tell quality versus not quality. And this is not quality versus something like this. This looks pretty state of the art. Okay, so this is the Black Hawk 2. It extends, this one extends to six feet. It does take a little second to set up compared to like a two piece. But once you have it set up and you have the eyes locked in right here, you're pretty much good to go. Just like that. So once you get the eyes set up, you're pretty much good to go. It took probably a minute to set up. Um, really light. And I'm, I've got this paired with a Cast King Eagle. It's called a Valiant Eagle, which is, I've never used one of their Eagle lines before, but I've been told that they're, they're really nice. And from the feel of it, it's really smooth. It's really light. And, um, and I'm excited to use it. I've got 10 pound Cast King line on it as well. Um, and let's see, this is, this is a pretty nice setup right here that's really portable, on the fly, ready to go. Look what I got! I snagged a, a bait, an owl wife. How did you manage to do that? Did you hold it up so we can see the bait? Look at that. Cook, I hooked it right in the gill. I thought it was a bigger fish than that. Probably just because it's all hooked it. Yeah, I really like this because it's a really sensitive rod. Oh, nice. Steven, that's a big perch. That's a spot. Nice, Steven. That's good. Yeah, perfect crab bait. This is a big one. Really nice. Beautiful. Good specimen, wow. right? Yeah. Woo! We got another something. This is another bait fish. This is a uh Owl wife or a menhaden or something like oh, that? That's definitely what I was seeing earlier that I was telling you about. Could you I can't believe it, it hit it. Could you bring it closer? I can't believe it hit it. I, I didn't think these things ate anything. I thought they were filter feeders. This is really good crab bait. And we're in an area where crabbing is really good. catches every species, I'm telling you. A northern puffer fish. This, I've actually eaten in, uh, when I was in, uh, where were we, Montauk? Oh, huh. Yeah, they were serving fried puffer fish. Fried northern puffer. This is a little small. I'm gonna let this guy go. Woo. Whoa! That is a nice perch. That is a nice perch. And it took the squid and it just slammed it instantly. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Look at that fat perch. 
Look at that perch. <clears throat> That's a good size. Okay, so this rod casts really well. I even tried top water and jigging with it. Great, works just fine. Um, I have 10 pound line on here, so I was able to cast it pretty far. Really sensitive reel. Yeah, really sensitive reel, really sensitive rod. Great option. I would 100% recommend this to anyone who's fishing anything remotely similar to what I'm doing. This is perfect. Um, my only cons for it is just setting it up, and it's hardly even a con, you know, I'm just impatient. It just takes a little bit longer to set this rod up than, than a two-piece. We are testing the telescopic rod versus this Sharky 2 combo rod. Another Cast King combo that is, it's a two-piece, pretty portable as well, not quite as portable as the telescopic, um, but it has less places, less breaking points. Whoa, bird just dove and caught a fish. Um, anyways, it has less breaking points, whereas the telescopic has a, has a new one of these points every section, and it has like six sections. I think that this one will be ultimately a stronger, a stronger rod. So the worms just keep coming off every little tap, so we're gonna change it out to squid now. Do you wanna use the, we have the tentacles, we've got jackets, or we've got the, the strips right here. I'm gonna try strip. Uh, it's just strips, squid strips. Squid strips, squid strips. Ugh. Where are the scissors? There you are. You need to bring a pair of scissors. All right, so we can cut whatever shape we want out of this. And I think at the end of this hook, I would like a little, what looks like a worm. So like that. That should be good. Thread that on like a worm. And then for me, I'm gonna do a fish tail. Just like that. A fish tail, like a shrimp tail. And then, I'm gonna put this on just like this. Just like that. Now, this will be sparkling through the water and spinning around. Something's gonna eat this. Something's gonna eat this, for sure. And it won't come off the hook. I thought, I thought my other rock was super sensitive, but this one is super sensitive. I'm getting bites right here. Oh! This is a really sensitive one. It. It's a perch. These are nice. How did they, this they, they fight really well. This rod is actually even more sensitive than the other one, so I take it back. Uh, they're not just as sensitive. This is even more. Maybe because I'm using four pound line, but also this, this rod actually feels lighter in my hand. Whoa! <laughs> one after another, guys. Did you snag that one? It went for it. Look at that. Right here, Jack, pop right here to you. Then you let it sink all in the bottom. And then you slowly reel it in. Woo! Big fat, big fat spot. Nice. Big fat spot. Big fat spot. There you go, Grandma. <laughs> All right, my consensus with both the telescopic rod and the Sharky Two Combo Two Piece Rod, um, I like both of them a lot. They're both great. The telescopic one is pretty much the highest quality telescopic rod I've ever I've ever owned slash seen. But I think the Sharky 3 rod reel combo takes the win. Because not only does it have a cool, not only does it have a kick butt reel, but it's got a kick butt rod. And this rod is really light, even lighter than the, the, the telescopic rod. 
Um, and for the kind of fishing that I'm doing here, um, both of them are perfect. But I think I would rather bring this one next time if I had to pick one. Anyways, if you wanted to try the combo for yourself or you're looking for a new setup for yourself, the telescopic rod and the, shark, the Sharky 3 combo is in the link in the description below. Anything that you purchase from the link will help support our channel. So thank you guys in advance for watching our show. I hope you liked it. If you want to try some of the super salty squid, we've got three kinds of super salty squid on our website. Check that out as well. Um, it works for so many different species. And the best part about the super salty squid is that it's so versatile. You can use it as just a bait that you sit there or you can use it on a, on a lure. And with the new super salty jackets, you can cut into whatever shape you want. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked our show, hit the subscribe button. And if you haven't already, push the, push the notification bell. And that will alert you every time we put a new episode out. Lately, we've been doing four episodes a week. And you wouldn't want to miss any of that. See you guys.